Captain's Log, Stardate 102366.96. After a week ashore leave for the crew and request the Starfleet Command to prepare for the upcoming Klingon Civil War, we leave Earth's space dock with renewed focus and energy. And I have a little surprise for the next threat to the USS Atlantis. In order to restore her faith in the Empire, in being Klingon, Matriarch Ju'ula is going to the monastery on Boreth. Long ago, her brother Tukuvma was a monk. And it is on Boreth where he began his journey on the path to greatness. Ju'ula hopes to do the same, that she can follow in his footsteps and save the Empire before Jumpok destroys it. Your arrival is timely. Several ships from rival Klingon houses are fighting to control this system, despite its long standing as neutral ground within the Empire. I will not see this sacred place brought under the heel of any house, great or small. And greetings everyone, hope everyone is having a fine day. Alright, how would you like to proceed? This is a petty squabble between packs of rabbit targs. Nothing. Let them growl and gnash their teeth. There are more important matters waiting to be resolved. We should ignore them and proceed to the monastery, my lady. No, I will not abide this. I will show them the error of their ways and give them the chance to leave this place with honor. Should they refuse, I will meet them in battle. <sighs> Sounds good. Perhaps your words will reach these curs, Jula, but I'll keep my weapons ready. Oh, As cool. We got Mark Tak. This Bakhtag only speaks the language of battle. Yes, but that is a language we all speak very well. Klingon vessels. This is Matriarch Jaula of House Bokai. You dishonor yourselves and your houses by fighting at this sacred place. In the name of Kalis, I ask you now to stand down and leave the system. Remember who you are. So, the great Jaula comes to Boreth. I am surprised you have the nerve to show your face, woman. And you travel with Martok. He carries the sword of Kalis. A true Klingon warrior could seize the throne of the Emperor with such a weapon. No, I will not stand down, but I will give you and that old fool a warrior's death. Bold words! If you think you can take the sword from this old fool, by all means try. All right, let's rock. I will finish what Jumpak started. As hard as go, this pack is particularly deep and white.
dare toast. I think we've shown them the error of their ways. I'm sure they'll regale their ancestors with this precious knowledge once they arrive in Stovacor. Now, let's get on with it and do what we came here to do. For once, I find myself in agreement with Martok, my lady. We have wasted enough time. We should go to the monastery now. Hey, yep, yep, yep. Very well. We shall proceed before we find ourselves having to deal with more dishonorable Bachtak. All right, let's get out of here. We should be cautious. Jimpok may seek to curry favor with the monks as well. Indeed, their words hold weight for many throughout the Empire. Okay, is this going to continue, or can I just full impulse right into the planet? Yeah, we're almost there anyway. It is time. Martok, Adetpa, I shall meet you on the surface. Okay. When we reached out to the monks, their instructions were quite clear. Only Adetpa, Martok, and myself will be allowed to enter the monastery on this day. Uh huh. And what am I supposed to do then? I would ask you to remain on Overwatch here. We cannot afford to be disturbed in the monastery. Should more of these fools arrive, I'd like you to explain our need for privacy to them. With weapons, if necessary. And if it is Jempak who comes to disrupt things, feel free to begin with weapons. All right, understood, and kapla. Once more, seekers come to Borath. Will they find what they seek? Time will tell. My brother walked these halls. May I find a path forward here, as he once did. A path to save the Empire. We must be cautious. If the monks are loyal to Jumbok. They are not. We're still breathing. If these halls were the home of traitors, we'd be on our way to Stovacor by now. Matriarch Jaula. General Martok, Captain Adet Pa, come forth. We have many things to discuss. Let's see what the monk has to say. Oh, I'm playing her now, huh? Okay. Never wanted big boobs, but all right. Um, do I have to go upstairs? Are there? Yeah, there are steps. Okay. Ah, let me zoom this in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here. And why is the lighting so dark in here? There we go. You know our names, Timekeeper. What is yours? I am Tenavik, son of Vok. My grandmother was of House Morkai, and my mother served your noble brother with honor, as you well know. But once, I was a son of none, like my father before me, and the child you lost. That is a secret I buried with my child. How do you know of it? House Morkai is not the only holder of secrets, Matriarch. Now, if you are here to seek sanctuary from your enemies, I cannot grant it. That is not why I am here. I seek the wisdom of the ages, like Takuvma before me. I have spoken to many here with fire in their eyes. The same fire I now see in yours. They enter with conviction, always. 
They leave broken. Always. Under other circumstances, we could speak of such things for days. Unlike you, time is a luxury we do not have. So I shall be blunt. Will you help us or not? If you stand prepared to pay the cost for what you seek, I will assist you in finding it. Follow me. Come. Now well, this should be interesting. I really should sit down and watch Discovery just so I have a little bit more insight into some of these characters. Problem is, I really can't stomach the bad writing. It's, it's almost like Discovery was made for the ADHD crowd. I want something more thought-provoking. forward lies beyond these doors. I oh, thought I was going to get a cutscene or something there. Our path lies beyond these doors. You are unfit to carry the sword of Kalos, Martok! You dishonor yourself for this. You will suffer. Oh god, me with all, all my engineer stuff. I need to heal. A oh, bloody hell. Are any of you gonna come get me? Anybody? No? <sighs> we have arrived. <laughs> Your enemies are a bold and desperate lot to violate the sanctity of this place. Perhaps their deaths will be a warning to any other fools who would dishonor themselves so. There you are. Okay. <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned, it's that there's no shortage of fools willing to fight in a burning house. Indeed. Thus we shall remain vigilant. When you are ready, you can conduct the ritual and seek the guidance you desire, Jaula. I wonder what it's going to cost her. Where are the others, Tanavik? What is happening? Patience, Mitriarch. What you seek will be revealed in time. Sorry about getting a little click happy there. It... It is not possible. And yet... You stand before me now. Kalis, the Unforgettable. And you are Jaula, Matriarch of House Mokai. Long has it been since your bloodkin came to this chamber, seeking the wisdom of great rulers long dead. And now it is your turn, it seems. Speak! What would you ask of me? The Empire is shattered, and a mad tyrant sits upon your throne. How can I repair the damage done, and restore what has been lost? So much like your brother, he too sought unity. He thought he could find it through diplomacy at first, but in the end, well, you were there. You know of his solution, and the price he paid for it. If I am to guide you, I must know your heart. To begin, I will test you against a great evil from our distant past. Fight with honor! Oh. Great evil. Molar? I think that was it. Molar? Um. Where am I? What am I? Oh, there. There we go. 
You, you seek, seek wisdom? wisdom? Come on, then! I have I but have one, one lesson to teach! It ends with, with your, your death! death. Molo, I will send you back to Grethor in pieces! Your vessel's namesake. Take this in honor of your victory. That was a little easier. Okay, and I'm assuming this is what I'm after. Yep. We have one foe that challenges all Klingons from birth to death. Ourselves. Your second trial will bring that challenge to life. Fight well. Oh bloody hell. Um, um, okay, no, I guess we're dealing with a little server lag since it's taken a bit to get these up and running. Long have you craved this to end yourself. One final punishment for all your sins. Are you ready? Let us go to Grethor together. No, you speak the language of fear, of defeat. I deny you, spirit. I shall remain clean Get off this wall. That was an interesting ability. A battle hard fought against a foe most deadly. Come on. Take the key and prepare. Your final trial awaits. A Klingon's soul is measured upon death. If it is heavy with dishonor, the barge of the dead will deliver them unto Feklar at the gates of Grethor. However, if they have filled their heart with honor and glory, if they died a good death, then they will be welcomed in Stovokor. I would know if you are worthy to join me and our honored dead. And the one true way to know the measure of a Klingon soul is to meet them in battle. This shall be your final trial. Show me you have the heart of a warrior born. Yeah, I, I was about to ask, why is this giving me feelings of, you know, uh, Ebenezer Scrooge, you know? Glyph for the future, we just did the one for the present, and that one was the past. Yeah. So let me guess this one over here. Yep. Show me you are worthy to walk the halls of Stovokor. To fight you the now, unforgettable. Huh? There is no greater honor for a Klingon! If you want to defeat me, fight with your blade in hand! Oh, do I have to do this? I'll cheat. If you want to defeat me, fight with your blade in hand! Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. That'd be nice if this thing did a little bit more damage, though. Come on! A glorious battle worthy of song, brave Jaula. You have shown me your heart, and it is that of a true Klingon warrior. The three keys are yours. Tenavik will know what to do with them. Now go, 
bring glory to your house and to the Empire. Kapla! You honor me, Kalis. We shall meet again in Stovacor and sing songs of glory with the honored dead. Farewell. You return to us. Did you find what you were looking for? Hey, yep, yep, yep. I saw Kalis. He tested me, and I was not found wanting. I was told to give these keys to you, Tanavik. Kalis said you would know their use. I do. This is unexpected, but I shall abide. Though you have passed the trials of Kylos, your guidance here is not complete. There is still more for you to learn. Would this involve a time crystal, by chance? Say what? I would know more of your meeting with the man whose blade I carry. Was it actually him? Or some sort of hallucination? It was he. The one called the Unforgettable. I faced him in battle, and I have the bruises to prove it. There will be time to speak of Kalis later. For now, we will follow Tanavik to our next destination. Come with me, warriors. Okay. Yeah, make up your mind which way. Oh, lovely. I'm assuming that's where we're going. This is Lucara. Matriarch, an enemy fleet has arrived. It looks like Jampox. Signal is jammed. We can expect their troops soon. Be ready to fight. Ah, get me up to the Atlantis. Good. I Perhaps got a surprise Jampok for him. Perhaps Jampox will lead them himself, and we can put an end to all this. Squads of warriors have beamed in to attack! These arrogant fools will not stop me! Not now! We will not tolerate this dishonor. We will defend this sacred place. Why are you way- how the heck did you get way back there? Oh, you're going upstairs now? Hey, you ding bat.
down here? Yeah. Yes, no. Our path lies beyond these doors. Where the hell did he go? Did he run back down? Oh my god. Seriously, did we have to go upstairs and fight everybody? We could have just came over here. Pow! For Kalis! For the Empire! Attack! If I do happen to get a or play another Klingon character, I need to get one of these. Whatever weapon this is. I think they're dual pistols. The path forward. Shut up! Beyond these doors. I'm still mad at you for making us run all the way around that big room back there. Crap. Ah. I guess we're going to run all the way down here and then go back to the store. No? Yes? No? See red anymore. That's a good thing. Beyond this door lies a bridge. Upon it are three pillars. They are unlocked with the keys you earned in the trials. As I unlock the pillars, there will be three challenges. Oh, bloody hell. Tell me of the first challenge. by spirits from your past. Should they catch you, they will come forth and attack. Okay, should they catch you, so it means I'm constantly running. <sighs> Tell me of the second challenge. The present will do what it can to chain you in place, and the weight of time will take its toll upon your body. Okay, so... Uh, reading this, I'm seeing a pattern. Don't let the anomalies touch you. Uh, okay. Tell me of the third challenge. The future can be a minefield. If you run blindly into it, you may find yourself caught in its blast. Thus, you must be wary. Uh, well, 
around me. If I enter them, they will cause massive damage. Yeah. Pattern. Don't touch the anomalies. Trials, challenges. Is everything you do so complicated, Tanavik? It has been so since the time of Kailash, General. It is our duty to honor the traditions of our ancestors. You know, I just noticed something. The monk here. His, his head uh, piece or whatever that is kind of reminds me of a Ambassador Delenn from uh, Babylon 5. We know what we need to do. Let's get to it. Here we go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to help the channel to grow, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and maybe even get a friend to watch. That would be awesome. Until next time.